at this. This is a really weird day. The color is so off. And it's not just my camera. From inside my house, the sky isn't blue. It doesn't look cloudy. It's white. The sky is white. You see coming over here, look. All right, it's white. Now, I know we have some fires, but the thing is, is that the fires are in Los Angeles. I'm in South Los Angeles here. It's very weird. The whole sky is like white. I've never seen, I don't think I've ever seen this before. Looks like it wants to be blue over there, but it's white. The sky is white. It's like 20 degrees cooler than it was this time yesterday. My favorite palm tree is you and me. Pitching, isn't it? Nice. It's like 25 feet, 30 feet already. It's like 10 years old. Again, there's my doctor's history. All this stuff is about to be gone. All of it. It's beautiful. This tree was a tiny little plant a few years ago. I almost pulled it out. Because I thought it was a weed. And look how big it is now. There's this one, there's one over there now. This is a different kind of tree though. I've never seen anything like it. No idea what kind of tree it is. None. No idea. Look at its beautiful bark. It's beautiful. Not worshiping it. It's just like this beautiful, perfect tree. It's perfect. It's symmetrical and perfect. And look, it's got its branches coming all the way down. Look at these. I don't even know what it is. This is something else, it looks like. I don't know what that is. A different plant or something. Actually, it's the same one. It's just newer, newer leaves. But it's got these really odd leaves on it. It's like it doesn't even belong here. Yeshua made it for me. And the landlord made me cut my... He made me cut. Look at that. Look at it. See? The sun is supposed to be right above me. And look, you can see like... Maybe it's smoke, but it doesn't smell like smoke. But there's like this this haze, this white haze. It's really weird. This palm tree here. This one right here with all these branches. It was only three. It had three of those. And it had three of those heads on it like that. Except they were dead. They were dying. See how that one's yellow? They were all yellowed and someone threw it in the trash. It's 20 years old. Right after I got married, my, my Ken brought it home and I thought, oh my God. He brought a tree from the trash. And it got planted here. And it's beautiful. It's just beautiful. Look at, you can see the white haze. Yeah. It's weird. 
The sun's not even right there. That's not where the sun is. And it's cold. It's like 70 degrees, 60 degrees. It was almost 100 yesterday. And then it rained. This is part of that tree right here. This branch is coming behind you. Look at that. It's just bizarre. Look at, see? It's not even smoke. I felt, you know, it sounds crazy to some of you, I felt that she would tell me, come out with the camera, the videotape. So I'm videotaping, I don't know what, but I don't know what's going on because the fire, okay, the beach is that way, and that's where Seal Beach Naval Weapons Station is like over there. Orange County is right there and there. And that's actually looking south. We don't have a western face beach. This is, that's south. That's the east. Where Yeshua is supposed to come back from. In my opinion. It's all white. The sky is white. Up. Your redemption draws nigh. You can see that? Now that's interesting. That, um, I can't even see what I'm doing. Hold on, let me see. This is so bright out here, I can't see what the camera sees, but hopefully I can see it. That's the, um, telephone pole. At night, I see a blue telephone pole even to the right or the left of it. Sometimes it's in different places. But it's not here. It's like a different dimension. I saw an angel fly up here, this direction, up over my head, over my driveway, right up over this driveway. He is a tan angel with a white robe and a gold or a rope type belt. He's beautiful. And when he flew, he looked like a human being, like a man. But he had wings more like a, more like a, the wings of like a seagull. Not, but but not really. I, I can't. And then I saw an angel in a vision. I had a heaven. I uh, I saw another angel flying in the sky who was a Caucasian-looking angel with a white robe and a gold or rope-type belt. And um, when they were flying, their their robes stayed as if they were standing up. They didn't like hang down like they would with us. Gravity didn't seem to have any effect on them. And, um, it was like 2010, 2011, I'm guessing it. My son was still in, um, school, so. He was in uh, third or, second, third, or fourth grade. Second or third grade, rather. So, um, it's beautiful. Real angels. As physical as you and me. Then I had a vision of a different kind of angel whose wings stunning. He wasn't flying, he was standing in heaven on a floor that I first thought was crystal, but then thought diamond. There wasn't a scratch on it, not dust on it, it was stunning. And he was dressed in white with a gold or and or rope belt. Brown hair. Pretty. You almost look like Tony Banks from um, 
Genesis. But bigger and built better. But his wings, um, they came out from his back and I guess it came up to the, about halfway up the back of his head, as far as height wise. And the bottom tips of them were down between the heel and the knee, the back of the knee. They were stunning. Just stunning. I know I'm supposed to make a video telling everybody what happened to me. And I don't even know where to start. Well, I can tell you, if you don't have faith in Yeshua, I believe his name is Emanuya, or Emanuya Hushua. Emanu meaning with us, and Yah, God. God with us. That was supposed to be his name, not Jesus. Jesus is a Greek lie, the name wise. I'm not 100% sure of the name, so don't trust me. Discern everything and I'm telling you, have faith in our Savior because there's no other way to heaven. And this is the end. This is the end of days. People have said it for hundreds of years. Even his disciples thought it was the end of days. No, this is it. I've had visions and dreams. It's even whiter out here now than it was before. It's weird. I was even told not to bring a cigarette out with me, but I did. It's odd. I've never seen the sky like this. And it's really still. There's supposed to be a huge fire in Los Angeles. Now I'm looking west. That's west. And Los Angeles is kind of northwest, so it would be right behind all those trees. That right there is north. And there's no smoke. It's not brown. It's not yellow. The sky is a weird white. It almost looks like it does before it's going to snow on the east coast in the winter. Except it's not winter. I don't even know what I'm getting in this video. Honestly, I don't. But anyway, I... I had a vision where I saw a wall of water. I was... Where I thought I was was in Redondo Beach. By the pier. Where they have a parking garage and then you, there's like the water and you walk around and there's a, an arcade. And I saw a wall of water and, and it wasn't even cresting. It was the ocean water. And it had to be at least a thousand feet high. Because in it, in it, a quarter of the way down and a quarter of the way up were two cruise ships, the fronts of them. And considering how tall cruise ships are, it had to be at least a thousand feet high. And as I said, it hadn't crested, it was a wall. It was a wall of water. And the only thing sticking out of it and probably to judge how high it was, was the front tips of two cruise ships. One was to the left and up high, you know, at the, at the three-quarter position. The other one was lower at the, uh, the two-quarter position leaving enough room underneath of that one on the right for one more to be under it. 
and leave in enough room for the one on the left to have one more above it. It was a wall of water and I don't know what caused it. I just knew it was coming and I was standing there with a shopping cart as if I was homeless. And I was, it was very strange because I don't wear jewelry much. Don't even have any really. And um, I was like putting on earrings or something and they matched my shoes and it's just weird. I, I, it was weird. And I didn't see what happened after that. I woke up. But then I saw another well of water. And this made me think of the, the horrible fire that happened. I think it was in San Francisco. At this place that was like... Um, it was called the ship or something. It was in a warehouse. And I had this dream of this nightclub that looked like the inside of an, an old ship that they would use to cross the Atlantic. Like a remake of one of the old wooden ships that they would use. And there was this huge thing that, you know, for tea and the teapot was like the size of, for a giant, it was it was huge. Ten times the size of a regular teapot, at least. And I got up to help serve tea, which really wasn't even my job. And the cart started to move sideways. And I don't know if it was a big earthquake or whether it was another well of water, but I know I've had two dreams of water. I just can't remember the second one. I've had dreams of nuclear war as well. In fact, if I was to look here, again, to the south, there's my van, the south, the west, I saw right there, right at that spot, I saw a nuclear bomb explode and seconds later I felt my body burn to death and dissolve away. It dissolved away like it says in Zechariah 14, like your, eye, your eyes dissolving in their sockets and your tongue dissolving in your mouth and your, your flesh dissolving off your bones. I don't know if Trump is the last Trump. Maybe there's a difference between the last Trump and the last Trumpet. But it's interesting, Trump Pence against Clinton and Cain, like Cain and Abel, against Trump Pence, like Trumpets. And I'm wondering now if something's going to happen to Trump. Because it's my belief that Barack Obama is the devil. The day before he got, or the night before he got his um, peace prize for nothing. False man of peace. There was that spiral in Oslo, Norway. And a big blue spiral, it was a big white spiral in the sky, taken, I mean, pictures and video taken by all kinds of people. And there was a big blue spiral that came out of the middle of it and seemed to hit the ground. What's interesting there is it looks like something had been cast out of it as if it was like a portal of some sort. And the very next day, he got crowned as the false man of peace. I think Barack Obama's not done in politics. I think something's going to happen to Trump leaving Pence, like penance, or something like that. 
I'm not sure. I mean, discern for yourselves. Do not trust a word I say. Don't trust anything I say. I've been lied to as well, and there are many lying spirits in this world. I was told that my name was Sophia. I was told that my name was Hokma. I was told my name was Wisdom. I was told my name was Jerusalem. I was told a lot of things that weren't true. I was told I was married to archangels before I came here. There are many lying spirits in this world and you have to learn to discern between them. If you're left behind, the congregation of Philadelphia gets out of here and there's something a lot of the Christian churches don't seem to get. The first thing is, the Sabbath is not Sunday. Even in Italian, Sabato is Saturday. Sabato comes from the word Sabbath. Saturday is the Sabbath. Look at our calendars. Even the Gregorian calendar that we use that is false and an abomination in my opinion. Sunday is the first day of the week. Saturday is the last day of the week. Why is that? Because it's the Sabbath. So stop the Sunday worship and get back to the Sabbath. And stop teaching people that the law of our Creator was nailed on the cross with Yeshua because it's not true. That's a lie. It's a lie. It's a lie. Because if the law did not stand, how will we be judged? If there's no law, there's nothing to judge against us. Now granted, Yeshua even said himself, I did not come to do away with the law. I came to fulfill it. In fulfilling it, he didn't do away with it. He gave us a way to be forgiven because we're all guilty of breaking it. All of us. Go back to the ancient ways. Go back to the way it was before the Catholic Church got their hands on the word. Wake up. Wake up. Please wake up. Those of you of Catholic faith, even God knows your good works. But do you even know your church? Do you not understand even the Bible itself says, Call no one on earth Father, for you have one Father who is in heaven? Do you not know, it says, do not practice idolatry, but every single time you kneel down in that church, you are, idol you are practicing idolatry. You are kneeling down before a priest calling himself Father. You kneel down before statues of Mary and of, of the disciples and of, of quote-unquote saints that popes decided that they would call saints. God never gave them that authority. God never gave them that authority, and God never, our Creator never said that priests or pastors were to forbid to marry. But it does say in the Bible that in the last days there would be churches that would forbid people to marry. And you might want to remember this too. Take a look at the hat. It looks like a fish head. That comes from Dogon worship. Look it up. Look it up. Open your eyes and see what they're doing. The Pope has people kissing his ring like he's Jesus himself. And I don't even like calling Yeshua that because that's not his name. His name isn't Jesus. But as I was saying, the congregation of Philadelphia leaves first. And those of you in the church that think you're his bride, wake up. Every time I hear a male say that he is the bride of Christ, 
it makes me want to gag. Our almighty creator would never marry a man. Now granted, he is our husbandman. He is our shepherd, our husbandman, our redeemer who lives and will live forevermore and is from forever. But get it straight. Understand, truly, really, read the Bible for yourself. Get your hands on something other than the King James Version, other than the NIV. Get back to some kind of Jewish Roots Bible. Get into um, even one, there's a book called the Sefer, C-E-F-E-R, or C-E-P-H-E-R. That has books that are quoted in the Bible that the Christian church chose for themselves. I guess it was the Catholics and Protestants to take out of the word. There are books in the Apocrypha that have been tampered with. Even our Bible says the hand of the scribes are false. But that's what we have our that's what we have the helper for. Yeshua said, if I do not leave you, the helper cannot come who will lead you unto all truth you have the helper if you have been saved there's nowhere in the bible that says you have to say some kind of prayer of repentance to be saved that's the traditions of men and it's false it says repent have it says have faith repent and be baptized trust our father read the word Figure it out and do it quick because there's not much time left. Shalom.